Okay, Welcome well, back, folks. Stefan and I were enjoying Chris Allen there, and I'm sure mm -hmm. you would have too. He was in town recently as well. Mm -hmm. Missed and it. And guess who was uh, queuing up? I missed it. <laughs> I missed it. I was just there. And just <laughs> anyway, we hope he'll come back into town. But yes, mm -hmm. very talented man. Now, right before we get into talking about hearing impairment with our guest in the studios, let's hit the polling question. Okay, it sounds something like this. What do you think are the causes to hearing impairment? A. Overexposure to loud noise. B. Is it genetic? Or C. Is it a disease or illness? Oh. Yep. Type HO2 followed by space A or B or C and send in 23277. Of course, mm -mm. I think um, our guests in the studios would have more to say about the polling question. Exactly. So let's welcome, we have with us Mr. Kieran McCary, who's the owner and managing director of Clary Sound. Good morning. Good morning to you. Thanks for joining us such at, at this early in the morning. I'm sure it's pleasure. not your regular hour. No, it's not. It's a pleasure. <laughs> okay. All right, so give, first of all, of course, give us the numbers, statistics. How many. Uh, uh, what's the percentage like of uh, those with hearing impairment? Okay, in Malaysia, mm -hmm. actually we talk about globally first of all mm -hmm. and then we talk about Malaysia. Mm -hmm. The World Health Organization estimates that around about 10% of the world's population as a whole mm -hmm. suffers from some form of significant hearing impairment. Mm -hmm. In Malaysia, uh, there was a study done by the Institute of Public Health in 2006, mm -hmm. uh, which put the number of hearing impaired at 21% of the population. So that's wow. almost one in five people one in, five. in Malaysia have a hearing impairment. And this is uh, an age range between... It's all age ranges, all age from young range. To, to old. Okay. Um, but of course now, you find that, that older people, the prevalence of hearing loss of tends course, to be a little higher. Of course. I hope it doesn't affect you and I, okay? Uh, as, you know... <laughs> <laughs> all right, now, Kieran, tell us more about this aid that's sitting in front of us. All these things that yeah. are sitting, these gadgets that are sitting in front of yeah, us. Can you just explain a yeah. little bit more? And I think if the James camera can Bond, zoom in, yeah. Six million dollar man's right. equipment. Six million dollar <laughs> man, yeah. Uh -huh. I, I think, uh, I mean, this is really just to show people the evolution of hearing aids. They mm -hmm. started off many years ago as big, bulky boxes, which you mm -hmm. see on the left. This is the one, right? Yeah, this is the one. This is kind of worn on the on the pocket, in the shirt pocket, etc., with a wire leading up to the ear. Right. Uh, which, of course, just picks up all the noise and, and is really just an amplifier. Okay. Um, and then they evolved into um, this uh, kind of behind the ear instrument here. Oh, the, the ones at the, the back there? Yeah. All right. Uh, and then subsequently custom built hearing aids, uh, okay. which can be made very small and, and invisible. Up to the very latest, uh, if you can just. This is this is the inside the, the blue box. The blue here. box, yeah. That blue box. Okay, here we go. This is the latest. Okay. These are the very latest in terms of technology. Um, they're very small, very cosmetically acceptable. Um, when they fit behind uh -huh. the ear, uh -huh. they really... Oh, you can't see it. It really kind of disappears. It just looks like one of my grey here. Oh, yes. wow. <laughs> so it's, uh, yeah, it's really quite... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and a, a, the most interesting thing about these is they, they're intelligent. They think for themselves. They can change depending on the environment that, that people are in. And also they can be used with Bluetooth receivers. This mm -hmm. is a Bluetooth receiver, the, the black box. Mm -hmm. yeah, so this is worn around the neck. Mm -hmm. uh, and this can then be paired with mobile phones, computers. Mm -hmm. um, it can even be used to... So it's compatible? Yeah. Oh. So when the, when somebody's phone rings, the hearing aids will beep to tell them the phone's ringing. Then they just touch this and talk. Then they get the sound into the hearing right, aids. Right. Right. And of course, this then has microphones, so they can just speak as though it were a hands-free oh, device. Oh, see. This can also be used with a television. So use a separate Bluetooth transmitter uh -huh. connected to the TV, and then people can hear the television clearly. Hmm. Um, Interesting. It's quite a problem because people don't understand, uh, for the most part what can be done, yeah. how to get help, yeah. uh, and it's a very debilitating condition uh, because now, it affects people's Speaking of debilitating condition, uh, if you notice the uh, polling question earlier, we were asking, you know, what are the causes, right. whether it's genetics, it's overexposure to sound or even disease or illness. Uh, maybe you can enlighten the viewers in terms of what are the causes of hearing loss. The usual causes. Yeah. Uh, the most common cause is actually aging. It's a condition called presbyacusis, which is just hearing loss through age. Mm -hmm. uh, and that starts at uh, around the kind of late, late 40s, mm -hmm. mid 50s. Mm -hmm. By the time people reach the age of 60, it affects one in three. Right. Uh, and then, of course, as they continue to age, then the, the, the percentage affected mm -hmm. becomes uh, more and more. The second largest cause is, of course, exposure to loud noise. Right. Uh, especially in industrialized areas. So okay. if somebody's exposed to noise in a factory noise, yeah. or 
music, if you work in a discotheque all the time, then you're going to have a problem. Um, uh, and increasingly so, of course, youngsters today are using MP3 players mm -hmm. and playing the sound very loud. Mm -hmm. um, I'm always having to tell my children, turn it down, because yeah. <laughs> I can hear it from 20 feet away. Oh, so, um, uh, so that's becoming a, uh, an increased problem. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but of course, all of the, the causes that you listed there mm -hmm. actually are all causes of hearing loss. Disease right. or illness can cause it. It can be genetic, mm -hmm. um, and uh, of course, overexposure to loud noise. Mm. So they're all the causes. So these gadgets, these gadgets, they can address each and every one of those uh, causes, or is there a a uh, type of a hearing loss that? cannot be addressed by these gadgets? Uh, I think there are mm -hmm. two main types of hearing loss. One mm -hmm. is a conductive hearing loss, mm -hmm. uh, one is a sensory neural hearing loss. One mm -hmm. affects the mechanics of the ear, the other is the nerves in the ear. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. um, uh, there are some types of hearing loss that can be treated by surgery mm -hmm. or by medicine, so if it's caused by disease or infection or something, right. um, then it can be dealt with by a, a surgeon or a physician. Mm -hmm. um, for sensory neural hearing loss, more often than not, the only thing people can do is use a hearing aid. And if there is some residual hearing left, mm -hmm. then a hearing aid is of help. I see. Um, if there is no hearing, uh -huh. then a hearing aid cannot help. It doesn't help, help at all, yeah. Um, just in the same way that if, if you're completely blind, spectacles yeah. don't help. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter how That's thick right. they are. That's Good right. point. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, when we talk about hearing, as you mentioned, it's more prevalent in, in the older uh, generation. But mm. what about the younger generation? What, what uh, happens for children? who as young as five may have a hearing problem and would you be able to tell the viewers maybe what the cause of that would be? Uh, very often in children and it's not just at the age of five but many below that are actually mm -hmm. born with a hearing loss. Oh. There are um, uh, certain conditions that can affect the, the, the mother while she's pregnant uh, mm -hmm. so if uh, the taking of alcohol, uh, drugs yep. or cigarettes when somebody's pregnant can affect the, uh, the baby while it's still in the, in the womb. Mm -hmm. um, so of course, uh, these days most girls are vaccinated against uh, rubella, right. etc. Yeah. That's one of the yeah. commonest causes of blindness and deafness in children. Mm -hmm. um, so also trauma at birth, so mm -hmm. anything where the child is deprived of oxygen, mm -hmm. etc. This mm -hmm. can also cause it. Uh, sometimes there is no cause. Sometimes the, the, there's no explanation, mm -hmm. no definitive cause for it. The, the child is just born deaf just born or deaf. born with a hearing impairment. Right. I recently came across a child at uh, seven years old mm -hmm. who uh, throughout his whole life, people had felt that he was a bit slow and because he didn't communicate very well with people. Right. He just used to sit in front of the TV. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't until he went to school for the first time at seven that the teacher, who of course being a bit more experienced, thought, maybe this child has a hearing loss. Ah. So I advised the parents to take him for a hearing test. Uh, and sure enough, he had a hearing impairment. Oh, wow. Uh, so now he's wearing two bright red hearing aids. Oh, dear. Uh, which really he's very trendy. happy with. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but he's able to interact in the school very well. The teacher says he's doing very well. And the poor parents, they just didn't realize. So, yeah. so this boy had missed kind of a lot of the first seven years of his yeah. life because yeah. they just didn't know. They didn't know when yeah. they thought he was a slow child. Yeah, sadly. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. So, but he's not at all. So. Oh. Wonderful. Now, what happens, or rather, what can you advise parents out there? It, it's not like a lot of parents would take their children to to an, a, a person who can, you know, mm. check whether they've got a hearing problem or not. Mm. Uh, often times, we take a child to go for a flu or a fever and a, and a, and a tetanus shot, mm. but sure. not hearing aid, sure. aid uh, you know, assistance. Uh, what would your advice be to parents out there? Do you think that this is something regular we should do? I think hearing loss is, is quite common in children um, and there can be lots of different reasons for it. When children are around the age of uh, 8, 9 or 10, a lot of them develop a condition known as blue ear. Uh -huh. uh, it's very common, it affects about 10% of children. Mm -hmm. So I think the thing is if parents notice that their child is uh, seemingly not paying attention to things very right. much, um, if they start to struggle in the classroom, right. um, if they turn the television loud or they, they seem to concentrate too uh, too much on it, uh, then they should just simply take the child and have the hearing tested. Mm -hmm. okay. um, they can bring them along to us if <laughs> they can't find anywhere else. Uh, right. and right. If people need to contact us, they can find us on Facebook. Ah, okay. Uh, so, um, so we're happy to help uh, because I think it's really important that, mm. that we, we try and prevent situations like the one I dealt with uh, mm -hmm. not so long ago where this boy is just missing out on life. Yes. Okay, now for the big question, mm -hmm. the cost oh, involved. Yeah. <laughs> All these lovely, yeah, cool-looking start, gadgets. Starting from the uh, consultation, something. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, the consultation, actually, we don't charge for. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Because, again, I think it's very important that people get access to help That's rather right. than mm -hmm. putting barriers in front of them. Mm -hmm. um, in Malaysia, hearing aids start at about 900 ringgit mm -hmm. and can go up to 
10, 11,000 or so. Depending on how? Depending on the complexity. Right, and right. I think the thing is, it's really determined by people's lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So if somebody's still working, still very active, they need more help with their hearing. If somebody's leading a, a quiet life and, mm. and not going around too much, uh, then they need less assistance. Right, right. So uh, really it's very lifestyle dependent. Ah, okay. Now when you talk about uh, hearing aid, we, Clarisound is, has been in Malaysia for a while. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about Clarisound itself and why or what, the, what got you mooted to start in Malaysia? <laughs> Actually, the, the company, I helped set the company up for somebody else. Mm -hmm. I've, I've been uh, a hearing aid audiologist for 20 years or so. Mm -hmm. I know I don't look like <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I helped somebody set up the, uh, the company mm -hmm. uh, and then was involved in it on and off for a period of, say, nine years or so. Right. Mm -hmm. So a couple of years ago, we sat down um, and uh, I had the idea to buy the company and expand it, mm -hmm. uh, which I, I did, and we are now in the process of expanding first throughout Malaysia and then we'll probably take it into other countries as Fantastic. well. Fantastic. How has the response been? Very good. Yeah? Very good indeed. Yeah. Uh, I like to think that we bring a, uh, a more personalized level of service, mm -hmm. uh, a high degree of expertise mm -hmm. um, and offer things that you know it's not, not easy for people to find in, in other places in Malaysia. Fantastic. Right. So where can we go to sum it up? You can go to Facebook, uh -huh. look for Clara Sound, mm -hmm. uh, and then everybody can find all the, the details of how to contact us, etc. All right. All right, now for you out there, if you want to know more about Clary Sound, C L A R I S O U N D, Clary Sound, you'll have more about that. Kieran will be there for you to talk to if you want to know more about That's it. Right. Help um, us, yeah. Yeah, Kieran, <laughs> we'd like to thank you very much for coming on board and, and talking to us about these you. gadgets and lovely yeah. aids. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, don't go away because we still have another guest in the studio. So we'll tell you more about MindCreate 2010. Stay with us, Malaysia. That's a forum that's going to be happening shortly. Thank you.